Pokemon. Uh, today I have a whole video for you all. I recently went to Sydney for a work trip and I went to a lot of makeup stores that we don't usually have here in Canberra, so I picked up a few things. Now, first of all, I went to the Mac Pro Store and I applied for my Pro Card and was approved, so I should be getting it in the mail um, in a few weeks, fingers crossed. And I picked up a few products while I was there with my discount. So I got the setting powder in Invisible. Now this is really good for setting foundation on all skin tones. Then I picked up Black Ground Paint Pot, which is just a plain black with a shimmer through it. And um, it's, it's really good for a smoky eye. So all you have to do is layer a black eyeshadow on top of the paint pot to get a really nice smoky, smoldery look. And then I got Tan Pigment, which I didn't get when my auntie went to the US, so it just looks like that. And it's a really pretty tan colour. It's really neutral and good to use during the summer as well, when you're not wearing much makeup. Then I went to a store called Kit, which is a lot like a Sephora store. So I picked up um, some things from Too Faced there. I got the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I got two of those, just in case I run out. Um, it comes in this tube, which is um, a lot more hygienic than the Urban Decay Primer Potion, just because you're not sticking the bacteria back in there, and it's also easier to get a lot of the product out. I also picked up the Too Faced Kabuki brush. Now this is a synthetic brush, but it's one of the softest brushes I have ever felt. It feels like, no joke, a teddy bear. So this is really, um, really good for just throwing in your handbag because it's retractable. You've got this lid. And I use a mineral powder, so I carry that around. So a retractable Kabuki is really good to throw in my handbag. Um, from that store, I also picked up some products from a brand called The Balm. Now, I got the Staniac Lip and Cheek Tint. Um, this one's in Beauty Queen. It's a really nice raspberry pinky colour. And it's just good for when you're not wearing much makeup, you just stain your cheeks and your lips and you just don't think about it. And I got their concealer, which is one of the creamiest concealers you will ever feel. And it's... It's really versatile, it works everywhere. It comes with this little sponge, which I won't use, but it, this colour is lighter than light. And if you're anything like me and your skin is transparent, um, you'll have trouble finding a light enough concealer, and this one is perfect. Um, this brand actually does a lot of good products, so they're good to look into. I also went to a store called Inglot, I only picked up one thing there. My friend picked up a palette and some uh, primer and things like that. But I picked up this lip gloss. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but it's flushing pink and purple and green. And it's really quite holographic and it flushes different colours in the sun. So I got that because it looked cool and um, I had money to waste. So Then I picked up from a store called The Makeup Store. Um, a couple of things. This holographic uh, nail polish. Now, when it's on the nails, it looks almost three-dimensional. It's really cool. They come in a whole line of these. They've got um, about five colours that all are the same except with a different undertone. I got the one with the pink, and it's called Brita. I also got the Lip Care Mix. Now this is like a, the green one is an exfoliant, a lip exfoliant, and then the clear one here is like a balm, and then this one here is a gloss. So that's really good for smoothing and kind of looking after your lips. And I also got the micro shadow in Butterfly. Now this is a lot like the NARS eyeshadow duo in Sugarland. This is a purple half and I use that duo all the time so I picked that up because it was a lot more cost effective to use. I also went to Napoleon as well and I picked up a few things. 
Now, generally, I don't use a lot of Napoleon. I love their lip products. They're great. Um, but I picked up their Light Patrol um, Luminizer Palette. Now, these are a lot like the NARS Multiples. Uh, it's got like the maroon, the dark gold, the lighter gold, the taupe, and the pink. And they're really shimmery, and they're sticky enough to hold eyeshadow in place on the lids. From there, I also picked up four of their Loose Shimmer Dust. Now, I picked up just a plain gold, number nine. Uh, this one is like an antique gold colour, which is just quite neutral. And then number seven, Pink Mocha, which is a pink that flashes with hints of gold. So it's a lot like... MAC rose, uh, rose Pigment. And I also got one called Blue Velvet. That's number 8. And the thing I love the most about these loose stuff is you can have them as vibrant or as sheer as you like. And number 10, which is Screaming Pink which looks really quite pink in the pot, but comes off this really kind of sheer pinky purple colour on the skin, which is really pretty. It's my favourite. I also went to a store that sold NARS, and I picked up a couple of their eyeshadow duos. Um, the first one was in Alhambra, which is some really nice light pearly um, highlight colours. Uh, one in a pink base and one in a kind of more of a yellow base. Um, that one's really pretty for using just on the inner corners or on the brow bone. Um, and I also picked up to go with that one called, their new one, called Isolde. And this is a nice bronze kind of duo that is really good for summer. I also got their primer. I got the one without the SPF, but you can go and get one with SPF 15, I think. And um, I just picked this one up because I have reacted to SPFs in the past, so that one's really good if you have sensitive skin. And I was also given the NARS Makeup Purse, which I love. I don't know if you can see the logo down the side there, but it's really quite spacey and it's good to throw in the handbag. And I also got um, the Fakai Stylist uh, hairspray. Um, this is a really light hold hairspray, so it's not going to feel crunchy, and it's not going to um, be hard to brush the style out. So that's all. Um, I hope you like the products that I got, and I'll have a go at using some of them, and I'll do a couple of reviews. Bye. Read my lips, I'm into you.